Money presidential hopeful Pete Buttigieg making a stop in Greenville today. He's part of a roundtable discussion on health inequities. This was at the Nickeltown Baptist Church. Several upstate representatives were there, many from the healthcare profession. The event was closed to the public, but open to the media. Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer was there today, and she has more on what they talked about. Carrie? That's right. You know, the main topic today, of course, was health care. Mayor Buttigieg addressed the inequalities that so many see in this country and also accessibility problems that many also faced. He was surrounded by those in the community who had lots of questions for him, specifically pertaining to the African-American community here in Greenville. The presidential candidate sat with 10 guests, most of them from the healthcare industry, to talk about how his campaign would fight for everyone to have access to the health care they deserve. He said he wanted to hear from them to see how politics affects everyday life in this community. Some guests asked questions about access to health care and transportation and how his health care plan would help those who have been excluded in the past. We spoke with one, with one of those panelists to see how she felt after the discussion. You talk about Medicare for all, you know, private or whatever it's going to be. The idea for me as I jumped in was thinking about transportation, you know, the access for people getting, you know, to the doctor's appointments and making sure that, you know, that that's a piece that he would, you know, consider. Candidate Buttigieg also spoke about how housing segregation has evolved over time and how there needs to be plans in place to make sure everyone has access to clean water no matter where they live in the country. He says his main focus today being in Greenville was to find out the issues that impacts our local community here. Now, there were more questions asked. If you'd like to see the full stream of the visit here, just go to our Fox Carolina Facebook page. In Greenville, Carrie Weimer, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news. Harry, thanks. Senator Bernie Sanders will be at Wofford College for a rally tonight that's set to begin around 730. And I'll be sitting down with Sanders before that rally. You can watch the interview tonight on the 10 o'clock news. And President Trump will be in South Carolina tomorrow night. He's hosting that rally at the North Charleston Coliseum. Doors open at 3. The speech starts at 7 and we will have a crew in Charleston to have a live wrap up on the 10 o'clock news. Elizabeth Warren will be in Greenville tomorrow. She'll be at the Rutherford just after noon. We're told Warren is scheduled to speak at about 1245. Joe Biden will be in the upstate as well. He'll be at Wofford College. Doors open at 6. The event kicks off at 630. And again, South Carolina's primary is Saturday 7 to 7. This uh, is open to everybody to vote. There's not a Republican primary. So again, we'll have complete coverage inside our Fox Carolina News app and right here on a late edition of the 10 o'clock news Saturday night. And in case you're wondering, these are the Democrats still in the race. Now, you will not see Michael Bloomberg on the ballot. He did not qualify for the South Carolina primary.